into this tutorial, we're going to do this. Alright, so if you look at this scene, we only have this um, Nike logo. So I'm going to be making use of this logo for this animation. So you could, you can use any of your logo, any, any text you wish to use, but this is what I'm going to be using. So just spline to that I use in creating that. So after that, I'm going to create a plain object. Just make the plane a little bigger. So let's make this um, 1,600 by 800, just to have this rectangular shape. Then the next thing is to start giving segments because now this thing um this technique will require a lot of segments. <clears throat> so we will want to make this segment um 120 to start with and half of it 60. If you look at the reason I'm doing this is if you look at the ratio of the height to width to sorry the ratio of the width to height is just more like two to one. So the same thing has to be replicated in the segment for me to have a perfect square polygon so i hope you get that all right so once we're done with that we can work with this and once we feel the polygon is not okay we can up this polygon count all right so once you're done with that the next thing is to create a spherical object or a sphere that you're going to use to animate along this part all right okay so once you have this sphere let's try 20 to start with then I am going to select the sphere, click on the tag, go to Cinema 4D tag and align to spline. So I want to align this sphere to this spline. Then once I select this tag, we are going to look into the spline part field. We we'll drag the spline over to there. Then you have this. So we want to click on tangential so that as it moves, the object also moves. In line with it, so this is what we're going to be animating the position. That's what we're going to be animating. So what I'm going to do is come over to this place, just animate this, starting from 20. Let's keyframe this position. Then as it moves over to let's say 100, and make this 100 also to start with. Then record the keyframe. If I'm to play this, you have this effect see that animation so you have that effect so if you feel so i can also reduce this as much so let's just make it 110 so we have a fast feedback so if you look at this i can decide to go and up this animation so by just having it selected then right click in my viewport you are going to see show f curve so this is the f curve we're going to be having so i want the can notice the effect you're having you're having an easing in and ease out so it goes smoothly fast and goes out smoothly so you can decide to change the animation so if you want it to go to move out fast so you highlight this keyframe move this up or you can just undo this first off highlight only this then move this up so in this kind of curve what happens is that it starts with a very high speed, then it gradually fades or it gradually comes to rest. So if you are to play this now, it goes fast, then it goes gradually. So if you feel this starting is too much, you could just bring this down until you have a kind of a good animation so i think we will just use this start with so <clears throat> so once you're done with that the next thing is to start deforming this plane then before we even do that okay let me do that so let me deform this so you see what i'm going to change later on i don't want to change it yet so for us to deform that we are going to put a collision deformer as a child of the plane now in the collision deformer you have all the tabs you want to go over to the collider then the solver object we are going to drag this sphere over to this then you see the sphere colliding with this um plane 
then we want to change from intersect to volume sorry to outside rather then you have this so the rate at which it intersects will determine how um deformed is going to be so what we're going to do is to try as much as to bring this um plane upward so that it deforms more so you can already see what we have to so have this deformation if you still bring it up we have more deformation so i think this is fine i don't want to go too much so if i'm to play this now you see what happens it deforms and you see that so it's deforming this object so notice what is happening if i select the collision <coughs> this is deforming this object but then it's not rest it's restoring the shape automatically immediately after it moves from a particular position we want to have a trace of that logo so what we're going to do first of is to come to this restore under our object for the collision reduce this restore shape a bunch just make it maybe one and let's see you can already see the effect we have all right so i also do not want the deformation to just start you can see as it starts it deforms so what i'm going to do is i want i don't want this deformation to start i want it to start as it as the animation starts not just before the animation starts so what i can do is come over to this um spline go to the so let's look at when this starts the animation starts at 20. so let's just move to let's say 35. let's keyframe the position of this spline here so we want to keyframe the y position so we'll keyframe that then move to the 20 when it starts i'm going to move this spline up such that it's not interacting with this plane then we'll keyframe that so if you come back and see you can notice that it doesn't have any deformation it doesn't have any deformation at the start so then if you play then the deformation jumps so you can notice what's happening so that means i need to bring this closer so that it's so we could also even bring this even closer so that we see the start of the logo yes that is what i'm looking for so another thing i also want to do is as this thing ends i want it to also move up so at this point i will go to this spline record the keyframe again just bring this backwards a little then just hold down control drag this out so just like coming down and also going back up so if you are to play this now you have this effect and it goes up get so so we can smoothen the movement upwards so yes that is more like it so maybe we still bring this up a little bit so it gradually goes up so if i had to look at this this is the effect we're going to have all right so but the deformation is still not intense so what we can do is to come over to the collision and go to the object tab of the collision and change this fall off to surface that's the first thing after changing the fall off to surface the next thing is to start bringing this deformation If you notice this deformation we can also start changing this deformation bringing it even more so we will increase the strength to start with then hold down control to add more points on this curve so if we click hold down control and click we add a point now this point is what will now create the curve for us uh, as in the deformation the curve we want on the deformation so we can bring this up if we bring this up and hold down control click bring this down you can see what is happening to the shape here we are bringing this up we have the deformation and bring this down such that we have this so what i'm trying to do is to set this curve 
I, how I want it to go. All right, so we have this. And the next thing I'm going to do is also, if you look at this um, deformation, just going, I want to add like a liquid effect as this thing moves out. So what we can do, I can still even bring this restore form to 0 0.2. <clears throat> so it doesn't restore automatically and instantly. It takes longer time to restore. All right. So it takes longer time to restore. Okay. All right. So another thing I can do is to go back to the sphere, maybe reduce this to 15. And let's see what we have. Okay. All right. So if you come to the plane, you can also add a jiggle deformer. I'll bring the jiggle immediately under that you can already see the effect you're having. So you're having that liquid effect. So what I'm going to do is let's add more stiffness and see what we have. The stiffness is kind of too much. Bring this and reduce the strength. We can also add a form of drag to it. So we have this jiggle effect on the object. Then I'm going to smoothen the whole thing. So we just come to smooth and bring this at the end of everything. So you can see the effect of the smooth is too much. So we can bring that strength down. So you just smoothen just a tad, not too much. Okay, and the iteration might be too much, so let's bring this iteration down until we have a little bit of that. So you can see this. So now for you to have more detail on this um, mesh, what you can do is all those things, or you could just go back to the plane and add more subdivision. So if we make this 150 and this becomes 75. Then you're going to have enough detail as this thing goes, you can see. So if you feel that you are still not seeing more, then let's up this to 200 by 100. So let's play this back. You're going to have more detail. So if you are losing detail, you can bring back the detail by just increasing the segments. But the thing with this is that the downside is it slows down the system. We have a longer time to render. <clears throat> but the purpose is for you to have this detail showing. So you might need to still go up. So let's say we go to 240 by 120 and come back. You can notice that my system is beginning to slow down. And but you are having more detail. So this is pretty much it. How you can make use of your Deformer, your collision deformer to create detail, to create um, a ripple and water effects in creating your logo. So you can use it for typography, maybe you have text that you want to write. You can just create that and make use of this uh, align to spline and you can create whatever effects you want. So I think that's pretty much it. So if you feel you've learned something, please do give me a thumbs up and like for this and also i want to thank you guys for your support so far i really appreciate you i'm grateful for being in this community with me and i've learned in this journey i've learned a lot so i want to say thank you guys so don't forget also to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and do have a wonderful day god bless you bye